Guys, I know I'm crazy, but I'm going out right now. It's like 3.30 or 4 in the morning or something like that. But it's really coming down. You can't tell right here, but it really is. So Yeah, guys, it's 3.45 in the morning. Look at that. 3.47. It's not 37 degrees. I just started the car like a little while ago, but until I moved from that spot, for some reason, it's always really warm right there. I don't know what it is. I don't feel any difference. And there's nothing around there that would radiate heat to be that significant. But it's in the upper 20s right now. It's not too cold. This isn't the coldest storms. That's why we're getting a lot more snow. Only because we get the atmospheric river with these, uh, when we get more snow. But a lot of other places, if, if it's a really dry dry climate, and uh, like up, up, up in the Rockies, they don't get that much precipitation, you guys, believe it or not, they really don't. But, out of one inch of rain, because it's so dry there, they can squeeze out, and it's so cold, they can squeeze out from that place, like, wow, we were driving up, like, uh, like from one inch, like, almost three plus feet of snow. It's ridiculous, it's ridiculous. Here, one inch of rain would equal close to about a foot of snow, in most cases. But yeah, so, believe it or not, the Rocky Mountains don't get that much precip. And anyways, guys, we're, this is the heavy, heavy snow. We're making pretty much fresh tracks over here for the most part in our own way. We are gonna go around. I think we're gonna go around the lake real quick. I think it'll it'll be beautiful for you guys. Oh man, it really is beautiful, I'll tell you that. I mean this is really heavy snow guys. This is this is coming down. But yeah, I can't stress to you guys enough how much we love you up here. And once again, my friend Sahil, who owns Bear City, or <laughs> Bear City, Bear Smoke and Vape Shop, um, and he always tells me that they have like by far, by far the biggest puff bar selection. And if you bring up my name, he'll totally hook you guys up and stuff. But um, yeah, dude, like, uh, um, um, what was I gonna say? He's someone who really appreciates you guys too, big time, and knows that you guys are really, really important to this place. Without you guys, we have nothing up here, so thank you, and thank you for allowing us to live here. Because I love living here. I love living here, so thank you guys. And yeah, Sahil's just a super cool dude. I really like him a lot. Good family man, just a good guy. Um, yeah, bear smoking vape shop. We got everything. But anyway, you guys, just the man. Look at all this snow, you guys. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. It's really coming down. The only ones on the road are us and the snow plows. So we're going to take a nice fun drive around the lake. We're not going to be impeded whatsoever. 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 Guys, I had so much fun tonight on that live feed with you guys. That was so much fun. Oh man. It really was like, <laughs> I had fun pretending like I got run over by my car and stuff twice. That was really a lot of fun. It really was. That was a good time. You guys really bring out the kid in me and I just love it. I have so much fun with you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, 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 thank you. Oh, look at fresh tracks. Look, we already have about eight inches here. Look at, you know, as a matter of fact, we'll pull over real quick so you, and we'll just 
Check it out, check it out, check it out. There's no one here. There's no one, dude. We're the only ones out here. Check it out. We're just gonna take a look at the, how deep the tire track is. Look at that. That's deep. That's like eight inches. Like, look, it's just, it's basically to the top of my freaking shoe. Well, maybe that's like six inches, but this side, look at that side. Guys, dude, it's already dumping quite a bit. Look at this, no plow, nothing. This is great. I mean, nothing has been plowed. I mean, they're plowing right now, but I'm just talking about it over here at the moment. And yes, it has been plowed a lot. It's just, this is being dumped on right now. I'm putting on my seatbelt, calm down, calm down. There we go. Holy moly. I hope we see some thunder snow, guys. Or <laughs> hear the thunder in the snow and see some lightning as we go. Arg, 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 arg. Guys. This is very pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We make our own track over here, and then we turn over here, and we make our own track again. We're making track left and right. Because we're track stars. We are the track stars. Guys, we are the best here. Oh my gosh, please tell me that's not. Oh my god, it's a kitty. Oh my god. Hey, kitty, kitty. You know, let's see if he'll jump in the car. Kitty, kitty. Oh, poor little guy. Dude, please do not, do not tell me you guys, like, if he's, I know my neighbor's cat, like, they would try to bring him inside when it was cold and snowy, but I'm, I know sometimes they would forget, and I just don't know how you do that, like, I just, like, you shouldn't own a pet, honestly, if you're gonna forget, but if it's not that bad for the cats, I mean, it's only 30 degrees, but still, there's a ton of snow out here, did you see that kitty cat, oh my god, man, dude, that's just, I'm sure he'll be resourceful. Oh, look it. It's the KTLA crew. Hey! I wonder if, it, 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 if they'll let me talk to them. You know, I'm going to go see if they'll let me do an interview. Nah, forget it. We, we don't want to do that, do we? Yeah, we do. That'd be pretty cool. But I bet they won't. I'm just going to be like, hey, I run a YouTube channel up here called Big Bear Weather and More. Like, I'd be really honored if I could get an interview. And then they'll say, screw you, buddy. You know what? Uh, they're setting up. I don't, I don't want to bug them. I'm not going to bug them. Forget it. But you saw that, right? The news crew was setting up right there. Wow, look at that. Whoa, dude. Now we're definitely making fresh Trizax. Oh, yeah. We're digging deep. We're digging deep. Guys, this is the heaviest snow so far in all these storms. I'm very, very happy. And we are just being, man, this is deep. Heaviest in terms of falling from the sky, dude. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. Right? I'm down on you. I'm down on you. So we're gonna take this all the way around the lake. I'm glad you guys enjoy this stuff. Because I enjoy it too. I enjoy. Oh my gosh! I enjoy when I can see them. Holy crow! I can't see. I can't see. This is so much fun. I don't even understand how I can get to have this much fun with no one else out here having fun. It's just me. Just me. Having fun all day and night And not trying to pick a fight But I'll pick my nose all day and night I won't pick my butt Just my nose And maybe a fight <laughs> Alright, enough of that Guys, this is crazy awesome and we don't have to worry too much about like other cars right now, so we can have a little bit more fun right now. I, although one thing I do keep my, I'm a little bit concerned about, even though I don't think there'd be kids out right now, but you never know because of all this snow. I know how I was 
If I came up here last night visiting and it just started snowing like this, are you kidding me? Like, I'm gonna be outside. Because it started snowing like, like after the kids' bedtimes. So like if they wake up to go pee in the middle of the night or something and then they like walk by the window as they're yawning, and like do a whole double take like what the what the heck is going on here that's exactly how they would all sound even the little like toddlers who are like nine months old they would all of a sudden just be like what the heck is going on here it'd be pretty i mean it's a pretty crazy thing you'd be amazed what the snowfall does i mean it makes it makes a little nine months old talk like that it's pretty crazy i've seen it i've done it you don't want to do it you've seen it oh that's pretty deep over here then it's gonna get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper until we get to the dam and then over towards that side of fawn skin. But yeah, I just wanna show you guys that this is pretty fun and this hasn't been plowed, so we are the freshest of the fresh here. Dude, this is sick, bro. The power's out over here. This whole side of town. Oh wait, am I right? Am I right or am I wrong? I'm wrong. It's just snowing so hard I couldn't see any of these lights. How crazy is that? Holy moly. I ain't seen the snow like this, man. It's been a long time since I've seen the snow like this. I wonder what it looks like when I zoom in with this type of like already heavy snow. Holy moly. And guess what? I found five bottles of Rain-X that I bought, that I forgot I bought. I was looking on my Amazon account, going through my orders and stuff, and then I noticed five bottles of Rain-X. I'm like, what the heck are those? Because I order a lot on Amazon, a lot. Like, oh my gosh. Dude, I can't even see the road, really. But how crazy, unbelievable is this? Are you guys seeing this? Holy in the path we're clearing the way there's no tracks over here I'm so I know I keep on saying that but I really don't know what else to say because my mind's going crazy just thinking about this this is crazy guys this is nuts I can't see the road at all at least I can guys holy crap sorry about the c word not the c word you're thinking obviously because i didn't say that jeez I, I i need to be a little less more a little less captain obvious over here but i really can't believe how hard it's snowing right now we got a snow plow this guy's plowing here plow 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 to the daddy took a beaver away Look at this. We got like two whole separate, like we have a lane separated by a foot of snow. Awesome sauce. But we're making these tracks on this side, just so you know. Just so you know, folks, just so you know. What do you guys think of this, man? Is this pretty cool? Or what? Is this pretty cool? Or what? I'm liking this a lot. I mean, that is just so incredible right there. That, that picture right there. For all you kids coming up here, man, with with your parents, your aunts, uncles, friends, and stuff like that, get ready to have a good time. This is going to be awesome sauce for you guys, man. You guys are going to have a great time. And this is good snowman and snowball snow, too. It's a little bit on the wetter side. Oh, my gosh, guys. We're making the fresh tracks on this side of the road, and it's so deep. No. Oh, I'm not going to say it. Well, yeah. I'll finish my sentence. No chains, but I'm not bragging about that. I'm, I'm really not. I'm just saying that I, I'm not driving with, that, with chains on. Watch me get stuck eventually. But after like so many years of not getting stuck, um, really, then, uh, you know, maybe you guys wouldn't 
laugh at me too bad if it happened. But I mean, it's bound to happen. I'm, I'm bound to like, you know, need a tow truck eventually. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that, son. But I did, and I'll retract it. <laughs> I, oh, I take it back, guys. That was nuts right there. Woo! My stomach went out from under me a little bit. Did you guys see what just happened? Yeah, that was, that was, see you guys, this is dangerous for me. This is dangerous, but obviously this is not plowed yet. So, I mean, this side and this side either. That guy started back behind us. So none of this has, has been really, really plowed since this really started coming down. But yeah, I'm gonna take off the zoom here because the zoom's just been beautiful for how heavy the snow is. But, but there we go. That still looks nice, right? Yeah, it still looks beautiful. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oops, 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 oops. Yeah, I'm driving over the middle thing because there's not enough room on the right side and I don't want to be too close to the to the cliff here. Not like a cliff, but still dangerous enough to hurt yourself, kill yourself if you fall. If you go over the edge, it's a problem. We don't want any problems. Guys, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Look at the time. And guys, did you see? I cleaned. I cleaned for you guys. For you guys, dude. I cleaned for you guys. I love you guys a lot. Seriously, like, I, I, I get embarrassed. But when it's just me, I, I'm all good with it. That, that shouldn't be a reflection of who I am as a person. Like, uh, like usually I keep stuff in order and whatnot, but when you're doing what I do and you're constantly in the ice and snow and dirt, and getting back in the car constantly, jumping in and out, every time you open the door, snow falls in the car, and, and like dirt and stuff from your shoes, you just don't have enough time to, to wipe them off. Like, it's just a pain in the butt, so like, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is epic. This is epic. No, we're just gonna go back. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, that was, oh, oh, that was deep, my friend, that was deep, oops, here we go, this is crazy cool, I am having a good time, I wish you guys were here with me, take you guys with me, seriously, man, like, that would be, that, you, you know what, like, like, that would be something cool to get started, too, is, like, maybe taking some, like, tours and spots, or, or like in the conditions like this that you, a lot of you won't want to drive in. Um, but I, I have to get some sort of like transporters license or like whatever it is, which I'd be willing to do to make sure that like uh, I can get insured in case something does happen. Um, because I know a lot of you are gonna egg me on and be like, dude, hit the gas right there and spin <laughs> Trust me, and then I'm gonna, the dude abides. <laughs> oh my God, because we're in the snowiest part of town now, guys, okay? This is the snowiest part of town, technically. Look at how much snow is here on the side of the roads. Look at the piles, the snow berms, unbelievable. So we're gonna make a right-hand turn here and head into Fonskinman, Fonskinman. Oh, look at this, this is gonna be not fun. Oh my gosh, how are we gonna pull this off? Okay, I guess we're like this. Okay, yeah boy. This hasn't been plowed for a good couple hours, but it's not too shabby right now. We're definitely gonna catch up to him, I'll tell you that. And I'm not, I'm not implying that like I plan on driving fast or this and that, I don't want you guys to think that. Um, as I said, you guys have changed my life in so many ways and uh, changed my attitude in so many ways, my behavior in so many ways, my, some of my behavior patterns. Um, and it's all because I have so much respect for you guys. And uh, so I don't ever want you, like I, I want you guys to know that I really do care from deep, deep, deep down. I really do. Um, so I don't wanna do anything that, that like makes you guys feel like I'm a tool or like anything like that. But I am human, you know. I am human. I do sometimes, you know, uh, uh, you know, lust for, you know, just, adrenaline type type stuff I'm I'm an adrenaline junk I used to be a lot more but um, I mean, that's, that's why I have a Harley 
and a street bike. But the street bike, man, I got, if you guys re remember, like, well, only, it would only be very, very few of you. This was back in 2017, I think. I bought the 2017 or 2016. It was brand new though, from the from from the place Temecula Motorsports or something. I bought a 2016. Um, gosh, what, what, <laughs> why am I spacing it? Um, oh, a, a Yamaha R3, brand new. I'd never ridden. Um, that dealership was willing to match prices from, you know, any dealership, and so. I literally scoured the country because I didn't have any money. Um, I didn't have a job. I was still a total loser. Um, at that point, again, in my life, I became a loser again in terms of like my financial situation, just, just not putting any effort in, 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 into it and trying and relying on other people like my mom and my, and my dad and stuff, which is thank God that the, all that goes the other way now. Everything gets sent, sent to them now. It's so beautiful. But, um, yeah, I don't even know the whole, my whole point there, but uh, you guys know what I'm what, what I was trying to say. I'm sure my mind's going a million miles a minute right now because I have so much I'm thinking about, so much I want to talk to you guys about. Um, yeah, but uh, gosh, I want to, I'm trying to think about what I was trying to say there, so I can finish that finish that point because I know I I know there was something very valid there. That's why I spoke up, but. Sometimes my brain does this to me. But then again, when you're thinking about so many other things also, you gotta understand maybe sometimes it's not gonna be a, you're not gonna remember everything. But right when I'm talking to forget what I'm saying, that's kind of, that's not good. That's not good. I'm not old, I'm not old enough for that. But uh, yeah, jeez man, that sucks. Anyway, let's talk about something else then. Let's see. Let's see what if I wanted to talk to you guys about. There's 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 a lot. Basically I just like to know how you guys are doing. Um, making sure you guys are good. Enjoying your lives. Just uh, chilling like villains. I know these days it's a little tougher to enjoy life with some of the restrictions, but I have faith in you guys. I know you guys are figuring stuff out, and especially coming up here. It's a joyous occasion to get to come up here. It really is. It's a beautiful place, and you guys deserve it a million percent. Yeah, I kind of remember what we were talking about. We were talking about how in my loser, like when I just wasn't doing well. Um, yeah, like that was just hard times. And, and, and that wasn't too long ago. Um, that was, gosh, three years ago, four years ago when I was back in that spot again. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a really horrible feeling because most of my life as a kid, as you guys know, like, like, like I was taking, taking and taking from my mom. Like, uh, um, and trust me, I felt horrible about it every time. But somehow my little mind was able to rationalize and justify it to where like, like, dude, I, like it's the weirdest tricks your mind plays on you, but it hurt me every time. And uh, to be able to finally give back, to, to them consistently um, <clears throat> that's the greatest gift in the world you guys in the world man being able to repay people you just totally screwed over like I, look I'm not saying totally screwed over okay um, but stealing is horrible and I'm not justifying it because of my age back then and stuff like uh, but still it, it's just I just can't believe that that I actually like convinced myself that my mom made enough money and this and that and like when like yeah she did okay but I don't know it's just it's just horrible what drugs and alcohol do man what drugs and alcohol make you do it doesn't put a gun to your head making you do it of course not okay of course not but you know what I'm trying to say 
And uh, yeah, that's the greatest gift that I've ever been given is the gift to be able to repay them. And I know I'll never be able to fully repay them, but as long as we make an effort, right guys? Make an effort for that type of stuff. That's what counts. As long as you know deep down in your heart you're doing what you can to reconcile that that's, that situation. I mean, all you can do is do what you can do. Obviously, you know, if there's a chance that it could hurt someone or it just wouldn't be the right time, don't. But always do the best you can to reconcile and take responsibility um, and just almost selfishly get it off your chest. You know, like, yeah. I've gone through a lot, you guys. I've been through nine rehabs, two sober living houses, um, 25 years in and out of AA. It's crazy. It's crazy, guys. That's, 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 that's way more than half my life. I mean, that's crazy. That's half my life plus a quarter of what's left. Insane. So, um, just so you guys know, there's always hope out there. There's plenty of hope. There's plenty of hope. I mean, I know how cliche it sounds, but I'm telling you, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. And I always want the best for you guys. I want you guys to succeed in every way possible. I want you guys to be healthy, wealthy, wise, <laughs> healthy, wealthy, and wise. Um, yeah, just, you know, just stay positive always. Do what you can to stay positive always. When you start getting, you know, thoughts of like, I don't know, negative thoughts coming in or you start judging somebody or something like that, catch yourself and stop. Stop that right away because once once you start judging others and, and stuff like that, because subconsciously we do that all the time, unless you 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 realize what you're doing and you're able to over time you know really nip it in the bud but um it, it's 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 the law of attraction essentially and hang on a second what the heck is that behind us like a huge bright light popped out of nowhere and now it's gone hang on a second i'm just checking that out in the rear view real quick what is that okay it's no freaking clue what that was. That was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. Anyway. Um, let's see here. Yeah, guys, just, just get everything off your chest. You know, clean out that closet. I'm telling you, it's so rewarding. It feels so good. Yeah, it's scary as all hell while you're doing it. It sure is, but I'll tell you what, when, when you're done, you're gonna be like, wow, huh, that really wasn't so bad. And most of the people took it really well compared to how I thought they would take it. So yeah, you know, just, I don't know. I still struggle with it a lot, but I practice on, I work on it a lot though too. So, you know, we are all worth it. Every single one of you is worth it. Just give yourself a chance. Don't listen to other people who are negative Nancys. Don't listen to them. We're all individuals. We're all capable of what we want to be capable of. We all have the abilities to do what we want. Obviously, there's certain very few exceptions. Like, I, I, I'm not going to be a six foot seven NBA player. That's just that's just not possible. So. Um, but yeah, other things, man, you guys are in control, in complete control. Never let anybody tell you different. You own your future. You own your you own your, your present. Everything's yours. This time is yours. You need to understand that. Like, like don't don't live by anybody else's, you know, uh, I mean, obviously rules and laws, sure, but don't live by, you know, what other people think and what they believe in and it's not find what you want for yourself find what you believe in find what makes you passionate but i'm telling you right now like a lot of people i've been around in my younger days like like yeah they're very 
they I thought they were nice loving people but just I always felt when I was around them that I was a piece of crap and so that carried on for years um, and so yeah just uh, and then I realized from you guys that I'm not and it, it, this came from you guys. I'm telling you guys, my life changed because of you guys. My my emotional well being is completely true. It's just so so awesome, so great now. So um, yeah, like I, I just it's because of you guys, man. It's because of you guys. I mean, it's huge. Thank you guys. Can't thank you enough. Greatest gift. I mean, you guys truly are just the most amazing gifts. But yeah, just love yourself enough to give yourself a chance. Don't listen to other people who are, you know, giving you criticism. Now, the best thing you can get, the best information you can get if you're trying to Im improve your life, which is why I was so screwed by hearing all the negative talk for so many years that I started to believe it because it's the people that, I, that are supposed to love you. So, um, like, uh, that's what my, my issue was is that for so many years, I've been hearing the same thing. So then when I moved up here, when nobody knew me or knew of me or my family or like this and that, every single person treated me completely, complete opposite. And I was just really confused for the longest time. Really, it took like a couple years up here to like, to start to believe that I'm actually a pretty damn good guy. And uh, um, yeah, that's, that's why I stress to you guys, do not listen to other people. I mean, you will waste years of, of, of your life and it's really hard to not listen to the people who as I said who you're supposed to trust who love you right they're 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 never gonna lie to you they're gonna be honest to you in in a very loving way they're gonna give you constructive criticism they're not gonna you know just 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 drop the hatchet on you like no of course not but you need to be vigilant because a lot of people don't like seeing other people close to them succeed, especially when they are failing. Always keep that in mind. And I'm not saying try to put yourself up above anybody else. Absolutely not. You raise everybody up around you. You know, once you start doing well, then raise the tide for all the boats around you. Because you know what, giving people that hope and taking them out of that state of negativity will absolutely transform so many people in so many ways and so rapidly. It's just, I, 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 just, I just can't even, the, oh shit, this can't even begin to explain. What the hell is that all about, man? I bet most of our tire tracks in my driveway are going to be covered up. I mean, not the full depth, but they'll be they'll be pretty deep. This is that really nice accumulating type of snow. I like it. I like it a lot. Even though my favorite type of snow falling are the big, huge snowflakes. Is that a police officer behind me? Can't be. Well, I'm not speeding. 31 miles per hour. But this guy's gaining on me. That would make no sense to come after me. I'm not doing anything wrong. I, I still get paranoid, guys. It's really weird. I don't know why I still get paranoid about the the uh, the police. You know, I, I've got nothing to hide. I'm not speeding. I'm not doing anything wrong. But yeah, I guess crossing that lane isn't like the best thing to do, but it's, it's, not, it's not a big deal. Especially when we're trying to stay safe here. Guys, it's dumping over here. Holy moly. I hope you guys are really, really enjoying this, man. I'm enjoying making this stuff for you. Uh-oh. Slow it down, big man. Alright, cool. This is 
a very dangerous turn right here, guys, so you need to be very, very careful here. You guys have no idea where that turn is, though, so, yeah, you're like, okay, we'll be careful, but where the heck is it? Can't see it in this type of weather. As I say, when there's no one on the road, take up the whole road, guys. You know, up here there aren't like center dividers in the road for this, like, because you know, so many cars would just be wrecking their tires all day long. So I just use the whole road, and if you screw up a little bit to one side, you got plenty of room. If you screw up to the other side, you got plenty of room. But this is absolutely remarkable. Just remarkable. cut off we are making a right here come to a stop and then make a right and it's deep here wow look at this I don't know if you guys can really tell yeah that's pretty deep that was a pretty cool view here's oh my gosh so this is a very windy part and storms just, just come raging through here right here just raging Raging rock. I love it. The Baldwin side is over there. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Starbucks won't be open because it's snowing. I don't mean to be a smart aleck, but that's that was just so irritating that other morning, you guys. Once again, this town is built around basically wintertime tourism. And they don't open because it's snowing? Wow. Like, th does that make any sense? Like, like, you would think that's when every store would want to be open the most and choose to be open the most because that's when the most tourism's here. But yeah. take Catalina around. We're gonna go through through this street because it's probably gonna we're probably gonna make fresh track. Oh look we're gonna have to blast through this uh this berm here. Look at this let's do it here. Here we go here we go here we go yeah oh this is so fresh tracks right here are you kidding me guys we literally are the only oh it's really deep though oh my gosh it's totally pulling my car look there's like no there's nothing on here you guys that's incredible. We are so lucky. There is so much snow over here. Jeez. Pull down my window a bit. This is just awesome. Keep, I'm going to hold the camera outside for a sec.
guys, we're making freshies up here. I mean, come on. I mean, why that's so cool is because we're just in, in my car and like, like I'm just, I don't know. I make it look so easy, I feel sometimes, and I feel like that might not be good. Um, I need you guys to understand this is not easy. Like I am literally feeling every little inch of what the steering wheel is telling me. Um, and this deep snow pulls you. Like uh, when you turn your wheel, it like keeps you straight for a, a little bit. For I, It's just more difficult. It's just more obviously, but uh, it's so beautiful though. Dude, it is deep, man. You hear the car struggling. Here too. This is amazingly awesome. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Cause today you found my friend in my head. I'm so Get on it for a minute here. A moon ranch. There's, there's, there's no one here. There's a main road. There's no one on it. We're good. Anyway, guys. I love you guys dearly. This has been a lot of fun. Hang on a second, hang on. You know what, check it out. So we might have to go through a lot of snow to get in. Hang on a second. Okay, so we may we may have to go through a lot of snow to get into my driveway or maybe not. Oh, we're good, we're good. Look at this, look at this. Yes, it's gonna be so bad later on today when the snow plow comes by. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. Please have a great, great rest of your day. Bye. 429 a.m. January 29th, 2021, Big Bear Lake, California. The snow is falling a heavy, heavy, heavy.